Are you a brilliant chess grandmaster? Or are you a walking blunder? In this video today, I will answer that question for you. I'm going to be telling you what your favorite chess opening says about you as a chess player. I'll be covering openings like the London System, the Queen's Gambit, and even the Vienna. So watch till the end so you can see what your favorite opening says about you. All right, first we got a doozy, the London system. I'm not gonna hold back. If you like the London system, I hate you. You are awful at chess. You are probably about 500 to 1000 ELO and you are a total chess noob. The London system takes no skill. You just pre-move your opening every single time over and over, moving your dark squared bishop out, your knight out, making a stupid pyramid for your bishop and then moving that light squared bishop out to D3. There's no variation, this opening takes no skill, and you don't have to actually apply any skills or ideas when you are playing this opening. You just pre-move everything. You're definitely very new to the game, and I, I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again. I hate you. I'm sorry, that was a bit mean, but it's true. London system, straight to F tier. Next opening. Alright, real quick before this next opening, I'm just going to ask if you guys could, by any chance, subscribe to my channel. You see, by the end of 2024, my goal is to have reached 1,000 subscribers. And if you guys could help me reach that goal, that would just be amazing. So, anyway, thanks. Back to the video. Alright, we got a real solid opening now. The Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit is like the London System's older brother, right? If you play the Queen's Gambit, you're a real one. You, you are a Chad. You're probably about 1,800 to upwards of 2,000 ELO or even higher. Queen's Gambit is a super theoretical opening, and it is played by the top chess engines and the top chess players. You probably know every single line to the Queen's Gambit, whether they accept, decline, or any other possible variation that there is. The Queen's Gambit, A tier. Alright, next opening. Alright, now, we got another hot one. The Scandinavian Defense. If you play the Scandinavian Defense... You probably also play the London system. The Scandinavian is honestly just awful. It's literally a two-move opening. You move out your D-pawn, and then you just take it back with the queen. Like, it takes no skill. You're not memorizing anything. It's two moves. You get rid of the entire central game. There's not even really, there's not even really any theory. So, I don't, I don't know why you play this opening. I, it's, it's awful. I hate you. I'm sorry. That was mean. But it, it's like, it, just, just play the Karl Khan, okay? D-tier. We got another hot one, the Danish Gambit. The Danish Gambit, look, it's real solid. You're probably about, mm, I would guess about 1,000 to 1,500 ELO. It's pretty good opening. It's very solid. If you play the Danish Gambit, you're a real one, right? You're not quite a Chad yet, but you are a real one. You're probably pretty good at chess. You're, you're, pr you're, you're about intermediate level, and you're learning, really, some nice tactics in the Danish Gambit. You probably know every single line to the Danish Gambit because there are just so many different attacks and different opportunities that you have against your opponent. You can win a free knight, a free bishop, uh, even a free queen, or sometimes you even get the opportunity to checkmate very early. The Danish Gambit, I posted a video on it. Go watch it after this video, of course. But, you know, there's just one question I have for you. Why wouldn't you play the Vienna? B tier. All right, we got another solid one, the Karl Khan, way better than the Scandinavian. The Karl Khan, right, it's very solid. If you play the Karl Khan, you're a Chad, right? Gotham Chess has shown his love for the Karl Khan, and that is why we must love it as well. After he took a long break from chess for a few years, he came back because of the Karl Khan opening. It's a very beginner-friendly opening. You can play all the way from 800 ELO to upwards of 2000, because... Even though it's very be beginner friendly, you can all there's also a bunch of different lines and a bunch of different variation that occurs in this opening. So you need to be ready for a lot. There's just one thing that I don't really like too much about it, and it's that you can't get a big attack or a, like there's not much opportunities in this opening to get a big attack on your opponent or to get a big advantage. But then again, you're playing with the black pieces, so you do have to play a bit more defensive. But at the end of the day, the Karakon is very solid. If you play this. I love you. Okay, that's weird. A tier. You already know what we got now. We have the Vienna Gambit. Go watch my video on it after this video. 
The Vienna Gambit. S tier, you already know. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Vienna Gambit is very solid. If you play this opening, you are a giga chad. The gigest of the giga giga chads, right? I can't even begin to express how proud I am that you play the Vienna Gambit. The Vienna Gambit is such a strong opening. You can get huge attacks on your opponent. Full knight, full bishop. Sometimes you can even trap their queen in a variation. But, if we're being honest, we're not too good at the game. You see, the Vienna Gambit doesn't really work too well against super high-rated opponents. They're probably going to see your attack coming. Now, there is still the normal Vienna game, but it's not quite as solid, I would personally say, as something like the Queen's Gambit. But at the end of the day, Gotham Chess taught us the Vienna Gambit, so we must praise it like it is absolute royalty. If you like the Vienna Gambit, I'm going to say it again. You are a Giga Chad. S tier. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your favorite opening is. That way I can make another video about your favorite opening, if I didn't mention it here. And go watch my other video that I just posted about how you can become a chess pro. Peace.